What we like to do is this. We'll do pursuit drill in two locations. As you look at the slide at the top, you'll see that we have a defensive formation. We have barrels set up for offensive linemen. We like to have offensive personnel lined up as a formation. Because remember, it's not just the call. You want to get lined up right and not be bit at birth. So in all phases of our practice, we're going to have as many uh, key players on offense out there to get our defense used to lining up correctly as fast as possible. So what we'll do is the defensive coach will call out a call. We'll set our defense, run, off the, run from the sideline, get lined up to the formation. We snap the ball. Everybody runs a form of pursuit drill. Snap the ball, give it the tailback. He runs to the numbers and runs down the sideline. The defense now will run to the sideline, tagging off on the backside of that running back, not impeding his progress. Tag off, shimmy down, buzz their feet down the course of the sideline. Air, the running back keeps running. Everybody touches the ball carrier, and they're buzzing their feet. Now, everybody does it that way. But usually what happens after that is a, a coach will blow a whistle, and they'll all run back to the same location and get lined up again. Well, that's not what they're going to face on Friday night. So what we've done is to modify that is to have two locations. We'll, we'll set up the same situation 30 yards down the field, 20 yards down the field on the opposite hash going the other way. So when we blow the whistle, they're going to run to a new location on the field because that's what they do on, on game day. And, and that's important. That's just how kids think. You know, if they're running back to the same location, it's like starting over but that's not how they're going to play it on, on game day. So we'll run down to a new location, okay? Run to a new location. The coach will give a call, single it in or a color call, and we're working on that communication from the start pursuit drill, and we will line up to the new formation and start again. Ball carry goes the other way down the other sideline. We all run that way and, uh, and, and do the drill. So we'll have the one defense out. They'll do it twice, going each way, run to the sideline, 2D comes out after that. Now, if you're limited with players, it's okay. It's just the formation. The barrels eliminate a lot of uh, the need for bodies. And what we've found is on that second group, that formation, if you're, if you're short people, you'll always have managers, extra you know, coaches, um, injured players. Um, and we'll just line up bodies out there to get that formation. But it's key that they're moving and lining up and receiving the call on the fly. And what we'll do to make sure that the same guy's not running the width of the field both times is one call, the first call, we'll do to strength. And we'll set up the formation this way. And then when they're, after, they've, after they've tagged off and we've broken from there, when they're running down the field to the opposite hash to line up, I'll make sure I make a call where it's a field call or it's based on, uh, on the wide side of the field, so that'll put those key players on the opposite side. It takes a little more planning and thinking on your part, but that's what you need to do to be able to keep up with this new tempo offense. So even in pursuit drill, you want to have those elements in your culture.